my psychopathic sweeties. So I have a plain sketchbook, nothing in it, um, and some new brushes and some paint. And I'm going to make it into River Song's journal. Um, I'm going to sketch out the design on the front and paint white what needs painted white. And then I'm going to paint it all blue. So hopefully it will work out the way I want it to and it will look fantastic, but we shall see. So I took a pencil and I drew a rough outline of how I wanted the journal to look, and then I took some white paint and I painted it. Um, the paint that I used was not very good, uh, but hopefully it will work. But I did the white and then I'm going to take the blue paint and I'm going to go over that with the blue so hopefully um, it will look like it's textured and that the white parts are raised and will look like River Song's journal. So that's what I got so far. So I took the blue paint and I uh, just painted it up and down and I painted um, the inside so that the inside wasn't black. And so far it's looking really, really good. Um, it looks pretty textured, but it's still drying, so hopefully it will stand out even more once it's completely dry. But that was the first side I did, and that one's really starting to look really good. And then this is the other side, so this side's just a little bit more wet than the other side. So hopefully it will turn out amazing once it's all dry and then I'll be able to go to the next step. So it's all dry now. Um, it turned out really, really well. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tea stain the pages. And the reason I'm gonna do that is right now, it just looks brand new. Brand spanking new, like the doctor just gave it to River. And I feel like the doctor and River song story is so beautiful. It's so, there's just so much depth to it. And I would like to give the journal just a little bit more character. So I'm going to tea stain the pages to make it look like it's a little bit more um, used, a little bit more worn. So I'm just gonna, I uh, just heated up some water, put some tea bags, in there and I'm just gonna dip the paintbrush into the tea and just brush it right on the page. That's all I'm doing. And I'm gonna do that to every page. Um, I'm gonna start with just the front side and then I'm going to do the back side of the pages later on. But um, it'll give it a little bit more character. It'll make it look like River's Journal um, and later on in the series. So I'm really excited about it. So this is what my journal looks like now. Um, it's finished. Uh, basically this is cosplay ready. Uh, it took me anywhere between 15 and 20 hours to get this um, finished between the cover and the tea staining, um, which is opposed to the like 45 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes it took me to make my original um, River Song journal, which I just used for some pictures and uh, for my love story parody. Um, so obviously far superior um, than this this one. Um, so I wanted to make sure that it was really textured. So on the outside of the pages, I did a little bit of extra tea staining, just dipped the brush in the tea and just kind of um, went over it a couple more times. Uh, each of the pages are different. I didn't want this to be completely uniformed because this is something that is very personal. Um, Rivers had nothing else to do but write in the journal and read over the journal. So there's obviously going to be some pages that are going to be read over more. They're going to be a little bit more worn. There might be some with tear stains on them. Uh, so I wanted to kind of get that kind of feel. Like this is a very organic, very used um, journal. Well, well worn, well, well used. So each of the pages is a little different. Like the first couple pages are completely tea stained. 
Um, and then there's like pages that are like partway tea stained. Um, there's some that are just the, the inside that are tea stained. There's some that are like just the outside edge are tea stained. Um, there's some that are like just the corners, like a certain corner, um, partway this way. Like there's just, it's all different. I wanted it to look really textured and just, I didn't want it to look uniform. I didn't want it to look like she had spent the same amount of time on each one of the pages. So this is obviously very cosplay ready. Um, it was cosplay ready as soon as I had had the cover done. Um, but this is extremely cosplay ready and this is the finished product, but I'm an overachiever. So I'm going to do a rough draft of what I want inside the journal. And then, um, if I can work it out the way I want to, I'm going to put it in the journal. And if I do, I'll do a video, um, showing you guys what I've done and what stories I chose and all sorts of stuff to that, that I put in the journal if I do that. Um, which I'm hoping I will. But this is the finished product. This is very cosplay ready. This is very, you know, pick up and go and used for videos, used for pictures, all sorts of stuff. Um, but I do want to do the stories inside, so hopefully I will have that done at some point, um, and I will show you guys that. It might take a couple months, but um, until then, that is my journal, and I hope you guys um, enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Please check out all the links in the drop box below, um, including my merchandise shop. You guys have a good one, and uh, yeah, don't blink.